Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about gene transfer techniques and among them, the first one is about electroporation. So in this video, firstly, let us discuss about electroporation method. So what is the exact definition of this electroporation? The phenomena in which an electricity is applied to the cell membrane by forming pores on its surface for the transfer of genetic material is called as electroporation. So the, in the name itself, it indicates that electroporation is nothing but forming a pore on the cell membrane of a cell by using electricity. Electricity, electro, hence it is called as electroporation. We are going to use electricity or electric current for forming a pore on the cell membrane. And once that pore will be formed on that cell membrane, then we can transfer gene to it. Okay, so let us see how the phenomena can be taken place by this electroporation method. So I have said you that electricity will be used to form a pore. So the electricity which will be applied is up to 100 to 150 volts of electric current will be applied to form a pore on the cell membrane. Right. So now let us see in a diagrammatic manner. So now we are going to take a cell. Right. So this will be your cell. And we know that the cell will be protected or else the cell will be covered by a cell membrane. So this is called as a cell membrane. And we know that there will be two layers on the cell membrane. They are outer layer and inner layer. This is called as and if you zoom this region of the cell membrane, then you can see it like this with the help of a microscope. This will be your outer membrane of the cell and this will be your inner membrane of the cell. These both constitutes together to form a cell membrane where we all of us know that. So now what you are going to do to this cell membrane? You are going to attack a small electricity to this membrane. So what is the current which you are going to apply is nothing but the 100 to 150 volts of electric current will be applied. Right. So 100 to 150 volts of electricity will be applied to this membrane. So membrane is nothing but the cell membrane I am saying you about. Okay. So now what happens immediately there will be formation of a pore. Firstly, the cell will get vibrated and you are not going to produce this electricity continuously. You are going to just uh, give you are going to give a small jerk. Right. And once you give a small jerk, then immediately the cell will get totally vibrated and forms a small pore. And in this way, the pore will be formed. Okay. There will be opening, small opening on the cell membrane like this. If you see here, this will be your first step. And once the electric current of 100 to 150 volts of electricity is applied to this cell, then immediately the cell membrane will form a pore. There will be an opening to this cell. Now here the cell is unprotected because the cell membrane has been opened. So now what happens is that now we are going to inject the DNA into this cell. And in the first itself, we are going to select a cell membrane. So you are going to select a cell which doesn't consist of any nucleus or else any genome. I mean the plasmid free cell. This is called as plasmid free cell because it can, doesn't consist of any genome. We are going to select that type of cells. Right. And now we are going to inject the genome of your interest. Okay. It depends upon your wish. Which type of genome do you want? It depends upon your wish. And you are going to inject that genome into the cell by forming a pore. And that pore will be formed by the electric current. And once you inject that genome into the cell, then this will be called as a cell with genome. Okay, because the genome will be present here or else you can also call it as a plasmid DNA bacterial cell. And now this plasmid DNA bacterial cell can be used for our DNA technology. So what is meant by this our DNA technology which I have already said you in my previous video. The link will be given in the description box. So people who are interested you can watch this our DNA technology video and the introduction and even the production of insulin also been explained there. Okay, so it's better to watch this video first and later come to these techniques. So now this cell will be used for the RDNA technology purposes, right? So what are the main important things which you have to remember here? The phospholipid bilayer will be rearranged or else it is also called as realigned, right? That's what we have explained here. So it has been realigned or else it has been rearranged because this is uh, if you see this both of the structures, there is a total quite difference, right? Because you are going to apply the current here. Hence, it forms a pore where the phospholipid bilayer will be rearranged or else it is also called as realigned. And now another point which you have to remember is that plasmid DNA bacterial cell will be used for the RDNA technology which will be formed at the last process. So this is about your electroporation. And if you like this video just do like and subscribe and notes on this electroporation will be provided in the WhatsApp group and the link of that WhatsApp group will be given in the description box. So people who are interested you can join us through the WhatsApp group and the notes will be provided for you there. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video just do like and subscribe. Thank you.